know when you hit this kind of like I would call turbulence, but it's, or do you just not react with a stick? You just let it. Yeah, you just let it fly through it, pretty much. I mean, if you get knocked up a little bit, you're going to have to bring it back. But if you keep doing this, you actually add to it. Right. Okay. There you can see Catalina Island over there. Yeah. But yeah, you just let it ride through there. I mean, it just kind of bounces through. And when the string turns to one side to level it out, do you turn towards the direction it's pointing? You do it with the rudders. Oh, I see. But you do it with the rudders. So if it's like that, yeah, you would push a step away from the tail. That brings it back to the center. I see. If it's to the other way, you would step or release the rudder pressure. It's pretty much set in cruise flight. Right. So you just get rid of that. So you also have a ball here. And if the ball's out, you step on the ball. So if the ball's out to the right, oh, you step on the right rudder. And that brings it to the center, keeps that string straight back. And that's how you do it. So you get either one, the ball or the string, and the string keeps your head outside. Yeah, we use that quite a bit in the gliders. It's a real cheap piece of uh, equipment to keep yourself going straight. That's the great part. Yeah, I used to sail and on uh, oh, okay. tails, they have telltales. Sure. Kind of the same thing. Yep. So the idea is to keep the horizon like a certain distance above the... Exactly, exactly. Just kind of memorize that. You glance in to see if the altimeter is going up or down. Right. This is your speed, there's your altimeter. So you can glance in and see what the trend is and then change it ever so slightly to either climb up or go down. Generally in a gyro, you pull back to slow down, you push forward to speed up. Right. Al altitude is done with the power. Right. But I did see in uh, a couple of Henry's videos, he said, you know, to climb to pull back the stick, but but doesn't that cause you to descend because your speed's... Your speed would slow down. So we would normally climb about 60 to 70 miles an hour. 60 is the best rate of climb, which gives you the most amount of altitude for a given amount of uh, time. Then you would actually go to full power and hold that pitch attitude to maintain 60 and up you go. But when we level off, we ease forward on the stick to level the gyro and then ease the power back to a normal cruise uh, RPM and that's where we stay. Now if you just kept, if you push the stick ahead a little bit, very slowly, we're going to get rid of that rotor drag a little bit and we're going to speed up. You can see it speeding up a little bit. That's a fine line there. And if you kept pushing, you're actually going to start to go down, but you're also going to speed up. Right. So there's a fine line there to uh, figure that out. So that's how we, that's how you do it in the gyro. Ease the nose down a little bit, we'll speed up and we'll stay a little bit lower. And that way we'll speed up just a little bit, ever so slightly. Just ease forward on the stick and you'll see the speed increase. What we're doing is where we, the, the rotor's a little gross here, but the little rotor's up like this. We got a lot of drag. As we push forward, we flatten that disc out and get rid of that drag, which speeds us up. So it's that fine line right there uh, that we maintain speed and keep our power up, and that way we'll go a little faster. So what's our airspeed right now? Right here, 72. Okay. And under here, that's our ground speed, that little pink one. Right. That's how fast we're going over the ground. But this is how fast we're going through the air right here, 73. Let your nose down a little bit more. There you go, we'll speed up a little bit. We'll actually descend towards the water a little bit more. We can get down lower next to the water. There you go, now you're up to 91. Then we're descending just a little bit. I'll just ease the power back a smidgen. That'll help us a little bit too. So the trim button, what does that do exactly? Okay, so let go of the stick. All right, so if the airplane doesn't fly like this, which it should, so you can fly with two fingers all the way to Phoenix, okay? Right. If, it's, if it's trimmed out of trim, say, nose up, it nose wants to go up all the time, you gotta hold the pressure on it to keep it there. Well, I don't wanna do that. Right. I mean, you gotta keep a pressure on it. As soon as I let it go, the nose goes up. Right. Well, I trim that pressure off, 
so that it flies straight when I let go. If the trim, if, if the nose keeps going down all the time, well, I gotta hold back on the darn thing like this all the time. And I don't wanna do that. As soon as I let go, the nose goes down. So I go ahead and do some nose up trim here until that pressure's all gone. So when I let go, it goes straight. So and basically you get it going where you want and then you trim it. That's right. You take okay. the pressure off your hand and we also have left right trim also. Okay, so you have left right trim, which shows here. Right. Okay, so you have left right trim. So, you would just put it level here and see if it goes any direction. And that's it. You might need to adjust a little bit here and there as you get bumped around, but now you're to two fingers flying rather than having to hold pressure all the time. Right? So that's what the trim trim does. It's just a coolie hat, and so you can right. left, right, down, and up. So, because I don't want to hold any pressure. The gyro flies fine by itself. I just guide it where I want it to go. That's all there is to it. So it flies pretty nice, so if I need to turn, it's very similar to an airplane. I have the airplane trimmed up like this. It's a minor pressure to move, move it where you want it. That's it. That's simple. Now one thing I was a little confused about when I took the other instruction is when we made a turn, then you also have to pull the stick back, right? That's correct. We're lo we lose a little lift because all the lift vector is straight up. When we turn, the lift vector's up, but we also added a horizontal component to it. So now the resultant, you need more lift. So you can either add power or pull back ever so slightly. You will slow down just a smidgen, or you can do both. Now, if you bank very gently, yeah, you won't even hardly notice it, right? If you just do a gentle bank like this to change your heading. If you do a steeper bank, you're gonna notice it. You'll notice it. You'll have to pull back, and then when you roll out, you're gonna have to release that pressure. But you just you don't trim it for that, right? You just go ahead and uh, and just hold, it, hold the pressure with your hand because you're not gonna turn all that much. Because I was either doing it too much or not enough. Well, there you go. I mean, you have to practice it, right? So, like I said, a gentle turn like we just did there, right. I don't even bother with that. It's just a little nudge to get over there. But if you're going to turn steep, then you're going to have to do that. So if you turn steep, at what look, point do look you what happens back? to the nose. Yeah, It goes down. See, we're increasing speed. So you have to pull back and remember where that horizon's coming through the nose. And we just sped up. So now I'm back to normal, got to kind of let it stabilize again, and then I'm back to normal. I bank steep, right? and if I pull back, I can just hold it level, but I am slowing down just a little bit, but the nose doesn't drop. So now I'm just going to level out and just fly up level again. I see. And that's it. That's what you do. Same thing in an airplane. It's very airplane-like that way, okay? So that's how you do that. But if you bank gently, so I don't scare my passenger or your girlfriend or something, she'll never know, right? So you just do it very gently, she'll never know. Just like this, just to change your heading a little bit, is a gentle, gentle bank. And that's all there is to that. Very easy to do that. Very easy.